Assalamu ladies, hope you're all doing well and happy. So today's video is going to be a bit of a chatty one. I'm not doing any tutorials. I'm just going to sit here and talk to you about my hijab journey. I'm quite nervous for some reason. I don't know why. But anyway, um, I did ask you ladies on Instagram to send me any questions you had around this topic. And actually, I've had quite a few questions and they're really good ones. So I'm hoping I can answer all of them for you. If you don't follow me on Instagram, please go and follow. Pause this video. My uh, direct link is down in the description box, literally the first line. Click that follow and come back here and let's resume this video. So I can see myself in the screen and I don't, I don't really need my glasses, I don't think. Yeah, let's go without them, I don't really need to see. <laughs> anyway, I put my kids to sleep, let's hope they stay asleep. Um, I said that way too soon. My daughter's awake. So my memory is quite bad, but I do remember how I started wearing the hijab and not the nitty gritty details, but just the main bits. Um, so I started wearing the hijab quite a long time ago. I'm 29 years old. I started wearing the hijab 20 years ago. So when I was nine years old, um, I remember at the time I was in primary school. I think I was in year four, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, and I remember one day, I grew up with my mum wearing the hijab. I was surrounded by women that wore the hijab. Um, so I think in a way that's made it easier for me. Um, but we'll get to that in a minute. So I remember mama coming to me um, uh, with a hijab and just saying, So Kena, I would like you to wear this hijab um, for about a week. You can take it off when you want. You can put it on when you like and just experiment with it. And at the time, I was so excited because, as I said, I grew up with Mama wearing the hijab and I admire, I admired her. She was my role model um, and she just looked so beautiful with it on. So um, I remember I was able to go to school with the hijab on. I could take it off whenever I want. Um, and I don't remember exactly how I felt at the time because I was only nine years old. But I don't remember anything negative around that um time so I don't remember feeling anything negative towards the whole situation if you know what I mean um but I remember kind of not being reluctant but not knowing what to do um and I'm really grateful and happy that my mum pushed me towards the direction to go ahead and just keep it on and wear it um like she does um, so that's what she did. She just said, um, okay, now the experimenting is over. You look amazing. Um, you can keep it on now. You're a big girl. You know, things like that. I don't, as I said, I don't remember the exact details. But from then on, I um, kept it on. And I've never taken it off since. I've had questions asking if I have thought about taking it off. Um, I guess we'll just get into the questions, actually. They'll probably answer a lot of... Um, what you're thinking now <laughs> so let me just bring them up they are on my um instagram page so i'll just read the questions out in order were you ever reluctant to wear it um at the time when i first started wearing it no i don't remember feeling reluctant i think i was indecisive i just needed a push or just needed to be guided towards you know starting to wear it rather than going the other direction Hijab doesn't suit me, but I really want to wear it. But when I wear it, people make fun of me. What should I do? A lot of girls that message me say hijab doesn't suit me. I read a lot of comments saying hijab doesn't suit me. You look beautiful in it. But honestly, hijab, I'm 100% suits you. It's just because it's something new. Um, you don't feel like it suits you. You're not used to it. It's something different to what you're used to. So naturally, it will be a little bit weird and you won't feel comfortable and you will feel like it doesn't suit you. Um, but I'm 100% it, it sure that it does suit you and you look beautiful in it. But it's just a matter of time, matter of getting used to it. And here on YouTube, I post a lot of content around hijab styles, hijab looks, ways you can wear your hijab, different hijab materials. Um, and I'm not saying, I get comments actually that say hijab is not an accessory and I'm fully aware that hijab is not an accessory. But to me, a girl wearing the hijab or starting to wear the hijab, she wants to feel beautiful in her hijab. She wants to feel comfortable. And one look, one hijab style doesn't necessarily suit all or 
fit for all. Um, that's why I do different looks because I want girls to experiment with the hijab, to look in the mirror, try different hijab styles, see what she likes on herself, what suits her. Um, so I would recommend you just keep trying. You look beautiful. Honestly, I'm 100% sure you look beautiful. It's just, it, you just need time to get used to it. Just experiment with different styles. And in regards to people who make fun of you for wearing the hijab, a part of me wants to say that they're jealous, that they feel like you're strong enough to take that step and they're not there yet. Then a part of me wants to delete that and not post it. Regardless of whether it's hijab or not that they're, you know, uh, making fun of, I don't, if they're friends, I don't feel like you need that energy. I don't feel like you, they're friends really, um, if they're not supporting you during such a, a big step in your life. But if they're family, then I suppose just take it day by day. Just try to explain to them where you're coming from. The thing with hijab is you don't really need to please people. You're not wearing it to please people, to please those around you. You're wearing it for you, um, for how it makes you feel. And um, ultimately for Allah, of course. So yeah, that's my piece of cake. <laughs> what were some things you struggled with when you first started? Love your videos, thank you. When I first started, as I said, I was nine years old. I didn't really, I don't remember struggling much. Um, I think the way mama introduced the hijab to me or introduced me to the hijab, which way is it? <laughs> I don't know, but you know what I mean. Um, she did it in baby steps and I think that really helped me to not feel anything negative. Um, but when I grew a little bit older, got into high school, started to be a bit more aware of my surroundings, um, I suppose that's when I struggled. But even when I say struggle, I like I mean it in the lightest way possible, if that, if that makes sense. Um, I don't remember ever really struggling with my hijab. Um, but it's just, you know, when the bully here and there um, comments about your hijab or the ignorant person, the person who doesn't understand it or doesn't want to understand it, kind of comments about it, that's when I think it kind of puts you down a little bit, but you just stand back up and you just get over it really. Um, because at the end of the day, it's something that you're doing and you're, you believe in. I started hijab, I follow your hijab tutorials, love it. Thank you so much. So how will you teach or encourage your daughter about hijab? I think this is a really, really good question. And I actually sat down and thought about it for a while. Um, I don't know if I have the answer, but I'm just going to go off my um, experience with my mom. So I, every daughter looks up to her mom. She's her role model. And I grew up with mama wearing the hijab. So it was kind of natural to me. Um, and I was kind of expecting to be next, if you know what I mean. Um, so with my daughter, I'm hoping she looks up to me. She sees me as her role model um, and I've always worn the hijab in front of her. Um, and I do from now, every now and then, put the hijab on her, let her like um, put it on different styles and things like that and just compliment her, tell her she looks beautiful and things like that just to kind of make her feel comfortable with it. Um, and yeah, I really haven't completely thought about exactly how it's going to happen but I am just going to do it in baby steps I'm not going to be one of those mothers that you know as soon as she turns nine I'm like hey go you have to wear this now no I'm not going to do that definitely not but I'm hoping that the baby steps that I take will by that age make her feel like she wants to wear the hijab what do you love the most about your hijab <sighs> I love a lot of things about my hijab um I should have thought about these questions. I should have written the answers down because I don't want to miss anything out. But I just love the way hijab makes me feel. I feel like it's my protection. Um, I do feel beautiful in my hijab. I love how people can tell that I'm Muslim without me having to say a word. They don't have to guess anything. Um, and with that comes responsibility. And I do love that responsibility because it does control me as a human if that makes sense so there are certain situations that you go through um let's say someone attacks you you know someone's racist towards you you think about how you're going to respond before you do because you have a hijab on and you're representing a whole you know religion um so 
there's that which I love I love that I don't have to wash my hair all the time or style it not gonna lie that's definitely a perk there's a lot of things that I love about my hijab um, and of course uh, the same girl asked and of course what does hijab mean to you personally hijab is part of who I am it's part of my identity and I know you hear this a lot but hijab really is a part of me. I just love how hijab makes me feel as a woman. I feel strong. I feel independent. I feel like I don't need my exterior to prove myself. Um, does that make sense? I've got so much going on in my head and I don't know if I'm articulating it right or not. But um, I just feel like not everyone has to see everything. Does that make sense? I don't know, in my head it does. <laughs> um, I'm Hindu and I wear hijab because I love hijab. I love and admire Islam and Allah. Um, that's really nice. I Actually, I do get a lot of um, messages saying, you know, I'm not Muslim, can I wear the hijab? And to me, I feel like anyone can wear the hijab. Anyone can experiment with the hijab as long as you have that respect and you don't use it in a negative way. Um, mashallah you look so beautiful in hijab but in my case I don't look good in it and I can't handle it too so I don't know what you mean by you can't handle it but I'm pretty sure you look amazing in hijab like I said it's natural not to feel good in something new and it's a huge step it's a huge difference to, to your appearance to the way you look but I'm 100% sure if you gave it time if you cut yourself some slack because I'm sure you look amazing um, and if you just experimented with it, tried different styles, um, different materials, different ways to wear it, then I'm pretty sure you will be fine. You will feel amazing. Just give yourself time. It's not like a sudden, you know, put it on, feel amazing and move on kind of thing. I forgot a question. Let's go back a second. Have you had people who have criticised mixing makeup beautification with your hijab? This question made me giggle a little bit because I get that all the time and the first critic is my mum. <laughs> um, and to be honest with you, if I'm completely like transparent, I do agree with it, but I don't practice it. So we all have faults, we all have things that we're working on and sometimes, sometimes I'm like, oh, why did I have to love art but on my face? <laughs> to me, like I don't use makeup to make myself look beautiful of course that's a part of it that's not why i do it i do it because i love makeup i love the art of it i love transforming it's just a shame that it has to be on my face or other people's faces um, but i just love the process that's what it is for me it's not really me trying to look amazing and beautiful and sexy and whatever it's just it's just something i love to do um, and it just happens to be on my face yeah so that is Sorry, I've not answered it properly because I really don't have an answer. <laughs> but it is something I'm working on. I feel like if I wasn't into, if I didn't know how to work with a brush and didn't know, you know, if I wasn't into the, the art of it, I wouldn't be a person who wears much makeup, I think. How does it feel to be modestly covered in a beauty obsessed and less is more world? This is a really good question. Um, but I can't really relate to it because honestly, I, I don't feel anything towards it like I, I never think about it I'm not a person that compares myself to others or looks at someone and thinks oh I want to do that oh I want to be that I'm not that person and I think a part of it is because of my age I think lucky for me I started wearing the hijab a very long time ago and I think back then beauty and the less is more kind of situation that we have now wasn't as bad so there wasn't a lot to compare to Whereas now with social media and with just everything really, I mean, you've got kids that are nine wearing crop tops and full face of makeup and just, honestly, I'm so worried for our kids in the future, but it, do, it does scare me for, the, for my kids, for my friends' kids, for just the kids nowadays. It's, it's scary to grow up in, in a world where a woman has to have things out to feel like a woman to feel like she's accepted dressing modestly is honestly the way that i want to dress i never look at other women um at how they're dressed or you know if someone's wearing something more revealing i never look at them and think i want to wear that but i can't 
no it's more like I don't want to wear that and that's the end of it um so it's not alhamdulillah for me it's not been difficult at all and I don't imagine it to be difficult because I think I'm past that stage where I compare myself to others and look at others and be jealous and things like that I'm way over that have you ever felt people treat you differently because of your hijab and yes I have um I live in the UK, a non-Muslim country, so with that comes looking a bit different to the majority of people here. Um, as I said, I am proud of my hijab and I love wearing it and one of the things that I love about my hijab is um, how people can tell that I'm Muslim without me having to say anything just because of the hijab on my head. But with that comes difficult times, you know, when attacks happen and when there's like people that want to make Islam look bad I think during those times it's difficult because your hijab automatically kind of says that you're Muslim and ignorant people people that paint everyone with the same brush are out there <laughs> I've had times where people spat on me I've had times where people literally like came this close to my face and just screamed at me I've had times where I've been pushed, sworn at, just all sorts. But honestly, none of them made me feel like I wanted to take my hijab off. Yes, I may have felt unsafe. Um, I may have felt um, bad at the time, just really deflated. But none of it really pushed me to feel like I needed to take my hijab off. If I do take my hijab off, it wouldn't be for those beep, beep, beep people. <laughs> I wouldn't do that for them. Do you know what I mean? Like, I wouldn't even think about it. What would you suggest to new Muslim girls to be hijab confident? First thing I want to say is you look beautiful. I know you may not feel it, but trust me, you look amazing with a hijab on. Um, it's it. Hijab is not there to make you feel ugly. It's not there to cover your beauty. You will still look amazing. You will still look beautiful with a hijab on. It's just there as a as protection. It's there to make you feel precious, to make you feel like not everyone has to see everything, um, and which should make you feel strong and independent as a woman. Give it a chance, basically, is what I would say. Don't just put it on, feel horrible, and then take it off. No, I'd I'd highly recommend you give it a chance. You try different looks, different styles. You um, just experiment with it, and like I said, give it a chance because most likely you will find that point where you feel comfortable and beautiful in your hijab um, and um, I want to start wearing the hijab but I am afraid of the reactions of my environment hijab is super 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 personal it's a personal thing to you it's something between you and Allah I feel like wearing the hijab you you wear it for you and it's definitely not something that you you do for people around you um but your environment honestly they will get used to it it's just you you just work on yourself work on your um confidence with the hijab work on make a list of why you want to wear the hijab and always remind yourself why you have the hijab on and honestly eventually people around you will get used to it um just keep in mind that it's something that you're doing for yourself do you ever feel wearing hijab makes you less beautiful or ever felt jealous of other women because they can flaunt their hair so wearing the hijab no has never made me feel less beautiful i think when you're young you're more likely to feel that way i think because you're going through so much um it, you just not it's natural for a for a girl to want to look a certain way the hijab to me when i have it on feels like it's someone who loves me who cares about me looking out for me does that make sense I probably sound crazy um but yeah no hijab doesn't make me look less doesn't make me feel like I look less beautiful and I've never felt jealous of other women because they can flaunt their hair because I can flaunt my hair just not in front of certain people so um how did you overcome that feeling I'm guessing feeling like jealous of other women because they can flaunt your hair and, and you can't beauty is not just a physical thing I think it depends on what you feel like is beautiful or what you define beauty as so to me have you ever looked at someone and thought yeah they're beautiful um and then you spoke to them and they were amazing they had this amazing personality and all of a sudden they look even more beautiful to you that to me is beauty 
Um, so I think it just just work on your definition of beauty um, and you'll find that you can overcome the feeling that hair is something that makes you beautiful, if you know what I mean. Do you think turbans count as hijab? Um, I never wear turbans because I'm not comfortable wearing turbans um, and that's pretty much it. Do you think hijab should be worn so they cover your chest since that it's what it says in the Quran. So I feel like with hijab, if you're wearing loose clothing, then no, you don't need to put your hijab on top of your chest. But um, if you were, if you're wearing something tight, then the obvious thing is to put the hijab over the top. That's it basically. I don't really have much to say about that. Advice for others not yet wearing the hijab. Um, I don't know if this is the right advice or not. What I, what, what I would advise is not to throw yourself into the deep end straight away. You need to understand the hijab and why you're wearing the hijab and what it means to you and how it will make you feel. Um, because I think only then you'll be able to keep the hijab on. I feel like if you just jump into the deep end and it doesn't really make, it doesn't really mean that much to you. You haven't put too much thought into it. Yes, that might that might work for some but I think it will be hard to keep the hijab on if you didn't really think about what the hijab means to you. Does that make sense? <laughs> Any advice for sisters who are struggling to wear the hijab? Um, like I said I think t to me the main thing that worked with me is taking baby steps um, and I think understanding that you're not going to feel good straight away when you wear the hijab because it's 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 a huge step and it, it's it's a huge difference in your physical appearance as well obviously the inside is still the same you're still the same person but just the way that you look changes and it might take a bit of time to get used to that just give yourself the time really understand the hijab and why you're wearing it and what it means to you and how it makes you feel and just work on that um make lists of of how you feel of the positives and the negatives and compare that and just know that wearing the hijab is or even thinking about wearing the hijab is an amazing step have you ever thought of stopping to wear hijab due to social media or something else and yes i have but that was a very long time ago i think i was in i had just gone into high school and i was becoming more wary of people around me and i was a teenager so naturally I thought, oh, oh yeah, I'm going to look better without my hijab on. Um, and living in a non-Muslim country does make it that little bit harder, I'm not going to lie. Especially during your teenage years, during that age where, you know, you're starting to grow, you're starting to um, become uh, a woman, I guess. Um, so naturally I think I felt like I was going to look better without my hijab on with my hair out and funny story i've had like i think two times where i wanted to take it off back when i was in year eight i think year year eight or year nine and i'd have like these long chats with mum that turned into arguments because of course she doesn't want me to take it off and i've had times where i'm like no that's it i'm walking out the house without my hijab on and guess what i couldn't do it <laughs> i just literally felt naked like I felt like I had no clothes on and I was about to step out of my house with no clothes on. That's exactly how I felt and I never went through with it. And alhamdulillah I didn't because hijab is a big part of me. I would never stop wearing my hijab for social media, 100% not. I don't intend on doing it and I won't be doing it. Um, but yeah, I feel like hijab to me, like it, it has shaped the woman that I am today. It has shaped the way that I see beauty and define beauty. Um, it's not just the exterior, you know, even though hijab is not there to make you feel or look ugly anyway. Um, but it's it's just like opened my mind up to um, the way I see others, you know? Okay, um, this is taking so long. I've got pins and needles. Um, do you face any backlash from social media for wearing it? I don't. I actually don't. I get the odd racist comment here and there, but they really don't bother me. If you get backlash from from the people for wearing it, how do you deal with it? I don't. I ignore it because it literally doesn't mean a thing to me, their opinion. 
Um, I'm happy with my hijab. I'm happy with the way I look with my hijab. I'm happy with the way hijab makes me feel. So honestly, people blurting racist comments at me because of my hijab, like I just, I just ignore it because they don't understand it and they're clearly not willing to understand it. So why would I waste my time um, with those people? For those who didn't, uh, uh, hijab in my family. Oh, for those who didn't grow up around hijabis or in a family of hijabis, where do you start? Um, that's a bit of a difficult question for me because I have grown up with, you know, being surrounded with women that wore the hijab. Um, but I think the best way to start is to understand the hijab and why you want to wear the hijab um, and what it means to you. And then just slowly building on that and then experimenting with the hijab, putting it on, seeing how you feel. Um, I think that's the way I would start if I wasn't surrounded by hijabis. Um, I mean, you're obviously thinking about it, so that's an amazing start. Um, and I think that's the most difficult part, actually, to just start thinking about wearing the hijab. Um, and then from then on, you just build on it slowly, take baby steps. Don't just dive right into the deep end because you might not, it might not mean as much to you as if you had taken your time um, and really thought about what the hijab means to you and how to deal with the changes and questions that people will have. Again, I think that will come natural. Once you, once you know why you're wearing the hijab, then I think it will be really easy to just, you don't even have to explain it to people. You don't have to give them, you know, um, paragraphs of why and um, justify it, you know? It's something that you're doing for you. Um, so I think with questions that people will have, it's just really simple. Like, you know, you want to wear it. No question, just wanted you to know that I learned how to wear a hijab from your YouTube video. <sighs> this makes me so happy when I get comments of girls that say, you've inspired me to wear the hijab. Your tutorials really helped me out. Like, honestly, it means the world to me. Um, thank you so much. And that is why I do my videos sometimes I feel silly showing you how to wear a hijab because I feel like this look is so simple everyone's gonna know but when I get these comments I'm like yes <laughs> and I'm gonna end the video here before we reach the two hour mark but I just want to sum everything up um really quickly I've got pins and needles <laughs> um I just want to say you know you're beautiful with the hijab you look amazing I know you do I can't see you but I know 100% that the hijab will make you look beautiful and eventually feel beautiful as well. Um, it's okay to struggle with the hijab, it's very natural, especially if you're just starting um, to wear the hijab. It's a huge step and it's a beautiful step. Um, and just give yourself the time, give your hijab the, the chance to make you feel the way that you want it to make you feel. Um, don't just, you know, put it on and just feel horrible and then take it off and that's it. No, give, give yourself the effort. Um, it's a beautiful journey. It might be a, a bumpy journey for some women, but it is a beautiful journey when you get there, when you feel comfortable and content with, with the way you look and feel. And yeah, I hope you ladies found this video somewhat helpful. Um, if you have any questions, don't be afraid to ask. And yeah, thank you so much for watching ladies. Take care and I will see you in my next video.